Today we have a really cool nonlinear differential equation. And we see that the x variable is missing explicitly. So there's one substitution that comes in handy quite a bit here, when the x variable is missing, that is. You can let dy by dx equal u. Now this implies that the second derivative of y with respect to x equals du by dx. Now in this form, if I substitute dy by dx and the second derivative in the u forms into my given differential equation, then that would introduce a differential equation in three variables, u, x, and y, which is, of course, horrible. But there's a way around this if we can convert this derivative here into a structure involving the variables u and y only. And for that, we can make use of the chain rule, so we can write the second derivative of y with respect to x as du by dy times dy by dx, and dy by dx is just the u variable. So we have u times du by dy as the second derivative. Now that I've mapped out the derivatives in the u world, I can transform the given differential equation. So this implies that we have 1 plus y squared times u times du by dy, plus the cube of the first derivative of y, which is of course u cubed, plus u, and this equals 0. Rearranging things, and I have 1 plus y squared times u times du by dy equal to negative u times 1 plus u squared, where I've factored out a u variable there. So I can cancel out the u's here, but bear in mind that gets rid of one of the solutions, and, so, and the solution we lose is u equal to 0, which implies that the derivative of y with respect to x is 0, which implies that y equals some constant of integration c. So bear in mind that this step here loses that solution. But we know what it is, and it's, you know, trivial, so it's okay, it's fine. So on rearranging things, because we have a nice separable differential equation, let's write this as du by 1 plus u squared equal to dy divided by 1 plus y squared. And let me take the negative sign here. Okay, and integrating with respect to each variable, then we get the negative of the inverse tangent of u on the left and the inverse tangent of y on the right plus some constant of integration that I'm going to call a. And let's rearrange things some more. And I can write this as the inverse tangent of y plus the inverse tangent of u being equal to a. I ditched a negative sign with the a term here because a and negative a are just are both just constants, right? So either way, it's going to be a constant. So I'm just writing this with a positive sign for aesthetic purposes anyway. And this is a nice equation because we can just add up two inverse tangents using basic trigonometry. So this implies that on the left-hand side, we have the inverse tangent of the sum of the two arguments in the numerator and one minus the product of the arguments in the denominator. And this equals a... So this further implies that, uh, terribly sorry about that, u plus y divided by 1 minus u times y equals the tangent of a. Now a is just some constant of integration, so tangent of a is just another constant. So again, I'm just going to absorb this tangent into the a constant as well. So yeah, this is cool. We're just absorbing things into this constant term a to make it stronger and stronger. Isn't that nice? And on the left-hand side, I have this function of both u and y. And remember exactly what the u variable was. u was defined as dy by dx. So the next target would be to solve the equation for u so that I can get a first-order differential equation in dy by dx. And then I can solve that for the functional relationship between x and y. So we're solving for the u variable, and for that, we have u plus y equal to a times 1 minus u times y. And on the right, expanding, we have a minus a times u y. So let me just collect all the u variables on the left-hand side. So I have u plus a times u y equal to a minus y. 
Okay, nice. So factoring out a u from the left-hand side gives me u equal to a minus y divided by uh, 1 plus a times y. Okay, cool. And remembering that the u variable was just dy by dx, I have another separable differential equation that's, of course, pretty easy to solve. So on the left-hand side, I have 1 plus a y divided by 1 minus uh, a minus y dy equal to dx. So all I have to do now is integrate. And on the right-hand side, I have x plus b. And let me just play around with the integrand for the left-hand side. We have 1 by a minus y plus a times y divided by a minus y. And this is pretty easy to deal with, but I'm going to need some modifications for this term here. So what we have is a times y divided by a minus y. And we can write this as a times y divided by a minus y. And judging by the structure of the denominator here, we could use a couple of extra negative signs. Yeah, that would be cool. And there's never any harm in adding a zero. But what special version of zero do I want to add to my numerator? Well, the version of zero that will work nicely is a minus a. So that implies that a y divided by a minus y equals negative a times 1 minus a divided by a minus y. So expanding the right-hand side, we have negative a plus a squared divided by a minus y. Okay, cool. And now using this result for our integration problem that I'm just going to copy down here for a better visual of things, of course. And I don't need this term at all. Okay, so the first term here the antiderivative is negative log a minus y. And integrating the right-hand side of the equation in yellow, we have negative a times y minus a squared times log a minus y. And on the right-hand side, we have x plus b. So a nice way to express the solution to our differential equation is x in terms of y. Yeah, that would be convenient. So this implies that we have x equal to b, well negative b, but again I've absorbed a negative sign into a constant. So I have x equal to b minus a times y, and notice that I can factor out a log a minus y term, and that gives me negative 1 plus a squared times log a minus y which is a pretty cool-looking solution to a pretty cool differential equation. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.